Today we're going to show you how to create an event that has a registration piece to it for your community website. You must either be the web administrator or a user with elevated privileges in order to utilize this functionality. The first thing you'll have to do is you'll go to your community website, go to the welcome drop down menu and select login. You'll then put in your credentials to log into your website. Once your internal home page loads, you will then go to the Welcome drop down menu and select Site Admin. From here, you're going to select the Modules tab and then Events. Once this page loads, you will click on the Add New Event button which will open up a new window. Now you get to decide which calendar it's going to appear on. For this example we're going to say social events. We're going to give it a subject. Let's say ice cream party. And we're going to give it a location of the South Club House. You then have the opportunity to set the starting date. To change the date, click on the calendar button and select a date. And then if you want to change the time, click on the alarm clock. And you'll do the same thing for the end date. You'll then have the opportunity to give a description for your event. Once you've typed out a description, you can select a contact person. We'll select social community. Now to make the registration piece active, you have to make sure that the sign up required checkbox has a check in it. Once this is done, click save settings. You'll see that there's verification that your event has been saved. So we're going to exit out of this for now. And then go to the welcome drop down menu and select add new page. Now since this page is going to be attached to the event, we're first going to go to Assign Page Modules. We're going then to select Event Sign Up from the drop down list. Now in the following box you're going to notice that all of these events that are listed have the registration required checkbox checked. For our example, we're going to choose Ice Cream Party. We're then going to go to Page Properties. You'll need to give the page a title. And then give the menu item label, which is going to be utilized in one of these drop down menus. Then for category, we're going to select member related as this is going to be a member activity. Then it's going to be viewable by registered users only as those are the individuals we're inviting. And then once all of this is done, click publish page. Now before we go any further for this section, you're going to need to grab the URL from your web browser. Once you have the entire web address on there, copy it with a right click and then select copy. You'll then go to the welcome drop down menu, go back to site admin, go to modules, 
events. Select the calendar that you put the event on. For us, it was social events. There's the ice cream party. And we're going to click edit by clicking on the pencil. And then in this registration link, we're going to right click and select paste. And click save settings. Now to make sure this works, we're going to go back to the live site by clicking on return to live site. And then on the upcoming events portion of your community website, you're going to notice there's ice cream party. You want to click on this link and then click here to make a registration. Now we'll customize what the individual will see when they come to register for your event. To do this, click on the pencil, Edit Event Configuration. Now you have several different options that you can utilize to personalize your registration form. First off, the event owner user code. If you want more than one individual to have access to making changes to this event, you'll add their username on this line. If you want more users other than yourself to also get notified when users register, you'll add their email address to this line. Now the send email on registration portion will send one of the following. It won't send anything. It will only send an email to the event administrator. It will only send it to the registrant. This is recommended so that the registrant knows that they registered for this event or send to both, which will send to the event administrator and the registrant. For the next part, if you're sending it to the registrant, they're gonna receive an email. This is where you get to decide what email address this message is coming from. Then the email body that gets sent to the users. If you wanna spruce up this section or change the wording, you can. And then here you set the time for registering for your event. To do a start date, we recommend starting on the day that it is today. And you can set a time. And you'll do the same thing for the end of the sign up portion of this event. Usually individuals choose a couple of days before the actual event if space is limited and then you could set the time. If space is limited, you might want to cap the amount of attendees that can attend. Zero in the field means that there's no limit. You can also set the maximum number of children. If there's a cost associated with this event, you could set it here and then you can also choose to change it from ch charge per adult to charge per family. And if there's a different cost for children, you could set the charge here. And of course, on this one, you could do charge per child or charge per family. You also have the option of showing attendees on a map. This would be useful for a garden tour or some sort of event that requires several different locations. The next option, Show Registration List, shows all individuals who hit this page who has previously signed up. If you do not want to show who has previously signed up, all you have to do is uncheck this box. Now, these are automatically the fields you will see when an individual signs up for your event. These fields cannot be changed in order. What they can be is if you decide to turn off the display type and required, 
it means that an individual doesn't have to fill out that field. So if you don't really need to know the ad address of the individual, you can uncheck both the boxes. You can also turn off the attending since if the individual is registering, it's pretty sure that they're attending, so you could turn this one off as well. If you want to add comments, number of attendees, and then let's add an additional row. And for this one, we're going to put favorite flavor. We're not going to make it required, but we are going to display it for the user to fill out if they want to. Now you'll see that there's several different options. You could set a uh, drop down list, an option button list, checkbox, whatever you decide. But since we're doing favorite flavor, let's just stick with a text box. We'll then click save. And now your page is ready for individuals to sign up. What they will do is they will go to the drop down of select attendee and click on their name. This will then publish all the fields that you made visible. As you can see, there's the full name, the email address, comments, the number of attendees, and the favorite flavor. And then hit submit. And now you see that we have just registered for one adult. Now as the web administrator or user who is working this event and you want to see all the attendees and all their favorite flavors, what you can do is click on the Excel spreadsheet button. and open. And once the Excel spreadsheet opens up, you will see the list of individuals who signed up for the event and their favorite flavor. You have now created an event that has a registration portion to it.